Today, we venture into the turbulent deep of underwater combat. Let us begin. Hello everyone, GBA049 here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate Blind, episode number 3. We begin our swimming lessons. Cut the chit chat, let's get on with it. No flavor text to uh, bother reading, I am going straight to... Uh, Moga Woods, that is has yet to be named Deserted Island, and let's just let's just go read through this tutorial here by the Chief's son. Hey, it's me, G uh, I, I, I I mean the Chief's son. Listen, listen, I heard about that. Listen, I heard about that ore you mined. Not bad. Now then, have a look at your map. See that? The whole the whole of Moga Woods is open. Good. Good. You need to get out more. Now you can hike straight through the forest, all the way to the sea. And that's good because I'd like to go. And that's good because I'd like you to go and hunt one of the molids that that molids that swim that swim around there. A molid would be good practice for hunt for hunting underwater, and I'll wager you could use the practice. Besides, it would make a great gift for that gal in charge of finding new guild quests. Now then, once you're ready, set up for the sea in Area 11. Alright, sweet. I'm just gonna go take these torches for literally no- For literally no reason. That's quite the- that, that's, that's quite the angle when I- Torch at maximum, what? I shall light the way for no reason whatsoever. Whoa. Wait, it actually lights- It, it actually light up- It actually lights up the ground? Why the hell did it do that in 4 Ultimate? Okay, uh, what else can I do with this? Can I, can I attack with it? Uh, no, I, can, I just I just put it away. Okay. Okay, sure. Okay, that's... I just set it off. Use this to strafe up certain monsters. Go away, Kelby! Or you shall burn! Before you die. I'll just, uh... Get one Kelby horn. Thank you very much. And I got lucky that time. Okay, fine. I'll just, I'll spare you for, I'll spare you for now. Mark my words, you will pay for what you've done by defying logic. Kick the baby, or stab the baby. The baby's dead. No. Joy. Sure. Sometimes there are moments in this series where you don't actually feel like a hunter, you actually feel more like the monster. By slaying innocent creatures for... I guess... Good purposes! Balancing the population... Like this... You're too- there's too much of you. Uh... Balancing nature... Saving the village... Protecting humanity, and if you're a guild knight, hunt hunters when they poach. Talk about hypocrit- talk about a hypocritical oath. Let's go take a look. Whoa, this is some steamy terrain I'm looking at right now. Jeez. I didn't- I don't recall this area being that steamy in generations. Nice reflection, though. Always nice. Uh, is there any ore I can mine in this area by any chance? Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, I'm late to area 10. Any loot drop? Oh, there's some stone I can gather. I think. Yep, that's stone. Oh, it's worms. I can fish now. Or. Do I really need to have worms to, uh, oh, got a frog. Do I really need to have worms to, uh, fish in this game, or do I just get a lure by default, like usual? Assuming it's that, so, yeah. Gotta go, go gotta go get those frogs to, uh, complete that one villager quest. 
villager request, villager quest, whatever you want to call it. I'm gathering so much. This is the power of the gathering skill. I'm still gathering. I am still... How many times did I pick up items? Like 10 or 11 times? I... How many can I... How much can I gather in this one spot? This is ridiculous. Well, as long as I get... As long as I have uh, enough frogs. I got five frogs. That's, that's perfect. That's perfect. I guess it's... I guess it's unlimited quantity. Look at me. And this is it. This is it. Yes, I am ready to go out of bounds. You ready to get your feet wet? Next up, let me instruct you in the Moga art of swimming. <clears throat> you haven't eaten in the last hour, eh? No matter. You haven't eaten in the last hour, eh? No matter. Point the camera in the direction you want to swim, then move. Use the camera controls to change your view, and you'll swim in that direction. What? Uh, okay. That's all there is to it. Dashing, evading, and attacking all work just like when you're on solid ground. Practice controlling the camera and moving around. Before you know it, you'll be swimming like an epioth. What's an epioth? I've never even heard of that. Steer by using the control pad to face the direction you want to swim. Then use the circle pad to move in that direction. Uh, okay, here it is. Okay, this is underwater combat. Wait, what? Okay. Oh yeah, there's one other thing I ought to tell you about when you're swimming. Try not to drown. If you look at the left side of the screen, you'll see a vertical bar. That's your oxygen gauge. If it if it bottoms out, you will be able you will be able to breathe. That'll make your health gauge gradually decrease. Fortunately, there are three ways to refill your oxygen oxygen gauge before you become bunk before you become bunkmates of the fishes. You can swim to the surface and take a breath and, 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 and take a breath, refill at an air supply point, or use an oxygen restoration item. You'll recognize air supply points from the bubbles. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, you're not sorry. <laughs> You'll recognize air supply points from the bubbles percolating out of the ocean floor. Once you get used to the camera controls, you should have no trouble finding these life-giving bubbles. Hmm. Okay. I see... I see something over here. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Okay, uh... That's a bit... This is a bit clunky. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, so uh, the uh, control pad is what I use to uh, angle. Actually, it's... It's actually not all that bad. However... Alright. Good enough, I suppose. So this is the uh, feature that people want back. Where... How would it how would it come back though? That's it. That's the question I want to know. What would be needed? Okay, I, I don't I don't actually have to like uh, dodge into the water to dive. I just have to move. Okay. What, what, what I'm just gonna use a fishing harpoon. Uh, it's a tutorial. I can drink underwater. How the fuck does that make sense? Here we go. Here's the basic, uh... 
here is the uh, um here's the basic water move when, when my weapon is unsheathed I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to get up right on uh this is a little bit hard this is this is gonna this is gonna take some time for me to get used to actually and that is uh what is this is it is this an happy off might be an happy off oxygen the oxygen meter is pretty big right, I'm gonna go kill this thing whatever this is Get your ass back here! Ah, crap. What's this? Hmm. I really hope that I really hope that hunting monsters in uh, underwater isn't that fast-paced. I hope it's gonna be like uh, something easy to manage. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot I can carve this guy. Monster bone. What even is this thing? Hydro hide. Uh, okay. I'll just uh, I'll just go after this guy. I'll just go after this dude. Wait, I just realized something. The vertical uh, moving camera is only applied when you're underwater. I suppose that makes sense. Can't even imagine of how of how even more clunky it would be if it was like uh, if it wasn't like that to begin with. Just what is this? I mean, I saw what it was, but I wasn't paying attention. Let me just kill one more just to make sure. Or I mean, at maximum. I'll just, I'll just take care of this guy. Come here. Oh, that's an epi off then. Very, very, very interesting, I must say. Wait, what does the B button do? Oh, of course it makes me roll. I mean, swim. It makes me propel myself forward. Oh, monster guts. I didn't know, know Epioth had that. What do I get for monster guts? Eh, probably nothing. Is that an account item? Pretty sure. Yep. Monster innards galore. Prize delicacy. Alright. Alright, just gonna go this way. That's not going to be annoying or anything. The uh, the uh, control pad for adjusting the camera is no longer reversed, but it is when you're on land. Oh man. <laughs> okay. That's gonna take some time for me to get used to. Oh, what is this? Uh, sunfish? Ocean sunfish creature? Mm. Oh, that's a mullet. See that fish with a long, flat body? Can't miss it, right? That's a mullet. Your query for this hunt. Lucky for you, it's, lucky for you, it's, lucky for you, it's not a fast swimmer. Just get up close and take it down. Center your target with the camera and attack. Remember, remember this one technique, and you remember this one technique, and you'll make quick progress. You can weaken fish with your weapon, but I suggest using a fishing harpoon. Then you can carve materials from them. Then you can carve materials from them. Right. Let the marine warfare begin. Take that fish down. All right. Uh, where are they? Are they? Oh yeah, they're right over here. Holy crap! I never, I never expected to. I never expected the underwater, the uh, desert, desert, deserted island to be this dark. Imagine if, imagine if an abyssal Legaikers would just pop up out of nowhere to scare the shit out of me. 
Because uh, I've seen footage of... Uh, actually, no, I've only seen a cutscene of... A, uh, I've only seen literally the cutscene of... Uh, of Abyssal Legiacris. Its eyes glow underwater. Which is not only... Which is not only a, a very cool detail, but it's also very petrifying. Not only that, but it's also badass. Mac cup of tea. Good work, Hunter. You keep this up and you might earn the right to call me Junior someday. <laughs> so, how do you like hunting underwater? Using the camera to track your target? That's a trick. Just between you and me, the return to village option has now been added to, the, to your game menu. Choose this, choose this option to zip right back to Mulga Village. It sure beats hoofing it. Once you get back to the village, talk to the girl with all the quest info. She start, she, she's starting to get impatient. Press start to open the game menu. You can also use the start setting options to enabling to enabling to enable opening via the touchscreen. All right, this is it. Oh, it's just a it's just called fish. Oh my god. Ha. Wait, what? They just va they just vanish. I'll call those Kelby fish just because of that. Gotta be some other tips to like uh, get used to the underwater uh, physics because uh, it's even though that it's basically the same as it is uh, as it is on land, the camera is going to be a bit of a problem uh, in uh, when I'm engaged against something swift and unpredictable like Plesioth. Or is it Plesioth? How did I say it? It looks it looks very unique. I can understand why uh, the uh, underwater uh, underwater feature has been uh, as it returned ever since this game because uh, there's quite a lot that you need to manage just to fight underwater. But, if people want it, then, yeah, so be it. Uh, do I want it to return? I mean, it'd be interesting to, like, uh, have it, uh, return in, like, uh, in, in a later installment, like, Monster Hunter 6, whatever that's going to be. Or if that's even going to be a thing. It most likely is, because Capcom loves to make sequels. At the same time, I really don't care for it all that much. But maybe I'm just saying that because I'm because I because I get to master it the same way I already do on land. I just I just gotta go pretend that I'm like uh, on land when I'm when I'm underwater hunting. So yeah, I suppose. Oh, well, you know, I got macalite ore and an aqua glow jewel. Gonna need that too. Macalite ore, aqua glow jewel. Got a lot of stuff here. This iron pickaxe is going to break soon. And there you go, it broke. Iron ore, iron ore, macalite ore. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright. Uh, oh, wait, never mind. This is, this is like a, some uh, secret area that, that you can only go to underwater. And it's and it also might be... And, 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 and if I recall correctly, uh, this little area in Area 12 was never accessed before in Generations. So... That's cool. So far, uh, the tutorial on, uh, in, in 3 Ultimate is handled pretty fairly. Nothing feels too uh, bullshit, nothing too unfair, nothing too overwhelming, except, well, this to a certain degree, but overall it's it's it, it, it's all pretty manageable. So, let me just go back to area 10. Oh, what is this? Can I actually gather here? Yes, I can. If I can, if I can reach it, that is. Yeah, reach it. Reach it. Get it. Oh, come on, come on, please. Get it, please. Gimme. Eh. Gimme. Got it. Red Coral Stone.
And that's all of it there. Up equals up and down equals down. I, this is something I really got to get used to. I also, I also got to remember that I'm supposed to like, uh, swim like I'm, like I'm running. I wonder what it looks like when I, wonder what it looks, wonder what the, uh, what the hunter animation looks like when I run out of stamina. <laughs> He's just gasping for air underwater. Wait, hold on a second. Does it drastically decrease my of my oxygen meter when I when I run out of stamina like that. Let me check. I'm actually curious. Let me just pay let me just pay close attention here. Uh no it actually doesn't surprisingly. Even if it did, it's not not by that much. Monster bone. That's where I get these uh, last monster bones and or raw meat that I no longer need. I'm going to go straight to the village. Turn in supply items and 70 resource, 70 resource, restore, not restore, resource points inverted. And now we can finally begin our hunting assignments. What is first before the text? Okay. Right after the text. Hey, Hunter, you seem to be doing pretty well for yourself, eh? Now you're now you're working for the Hunters now you're working for the Hunters Guild? That ought to heat that ought to heat things up for you. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd give you a little something I thought I'd give you a little something. You did bring me all that fine ore, after all. This here's an armor sphere. Normally you can get the treasure from mining. I can use it to upgrade your armor. Come get your armor. I miss hearing that. And I also miss, you know, base Overwatch. At first, it was, at first, Overwatch was a guilty pleasure of mine, but now it's something that I don't regret coming back to. So what the fuck it's become? Anyway. <clears throat> go ahead and have a look. Go ahead, go ahead and have a look see in my menu. Armor craft, then upgrade armor. Got that? And don't forget to flip through your hunter's notes for the details. Go on, take it. Right then, what's... Right then, what are you in business for today? Weapons? Armor? Uh... Nothing. It's a can. Unless... Ah... Antiseptic. The hell is antiseptic? I never even heard of this before. Um... Can it give me a demonstration of what it does? Sterile jewel. Decoration names. Now I just have to purchase it. Stun jewel. Recovery speed. Whim. Anti-theft. Is Camellia's in this game? Most likely. Stun. Recovery speed. Constitution. Oh, constitution is going to be very, is, is going to be very helpful. So it's expert. Maybe these are just standard decorations that I can't get yet. I'm going to go take a look if there's, wait. Bomb boost. Flint stone and great jaggy hide. That's pretty easy to make. Uh, wide range, no lasting power, no need that. Um, transporter, team player, oxygen. Let's see, attack. Might seed for level one, huh? Fence lock. Expert is sharpened fang, wherever I can get that. Uh, I don't have any armor with me, so might as well upgrade it. I suppose. Wait, hold on a second. Ah, what is this? Piscine mask. What the hell is that? Alleyweed? Alleyweed? I don't know. Earth crystal, iron ore, chain mail. 
the carpenter bug. Oh, right. Right, 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 okay. Okay, something with the best defense. Pisces mask. That would have to be the hunter's helmet, but I need a carpenter bug for this. Should I actually get the uh, hunter's helmet for, a st for, for the starting armor, or just go straight to the hunt? Uh, actually, hold on a second. Uh, my leather vest is, okay. I'm gonna go get the uh, hunter's mail first and foremost. Yeah, th th this is definitely gonna go help. Plus it has one, plus it has one decoration slot, so that's even better. But it doesn't have any skills. Wait, hold on a second. It has Psychic and Ranger. It says... Well, not like it's gonna go matter anyway, because... Expert. Wait a second. Expert plus two and wind resistance plus three for the alloy mail. Gathering minus two. Oh, God. Hunter's mail or the alloy mail. What do I need for this? I... Peleg... Pelagocyte ore, which I do not have. I guess it's something rare, and I can't get it anywhere else. So I'll just, I'll just, I'll just take what I, what I can afford. <laughs> yes, I want to equip it. Thank you. Uh, arms. This has. Um. Health plus three, hunger plus two, and combo rates. Eh, chainmail gloves. Why not? I'm just gonna give myself some more defense when I can, uh, so that way I can, like, uh, make myself a little bit more tankier. Make myself a little bit more tankier and, uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, nice. Chainmail belt. Ludroth? I already got, I already got Ludroth stuff? Yeah, I guess. KO, Maestro Perception, eh. I'll just take what I can afford for right now. And afterwards, I'll make a full I'll, I'll make a full armor set of my choice in low rank, and then create a mix set when it, by the time we get to high rank. And that's all I can afford here. Alright, so now I can upgrade armor, but it's also going to cost me some Zenny. And I have one... Okay, what should I upgrade first? One with the most defense, obviously. Uh, six... This one right here. Here we go. Six, eight, Zenny. There we go. Which armor do you want to upgrade? Oh, I can, oh, I can do it again. Okay, cool. Up, oh, there we go. And I know, and I don't have enough, and I no longer have any, no longer have any uh, armor spheres, and we're good. I'd love to make myself the freaking bone gun lance, but alas, I need a pop fish, more iron ore, and zenny. All right, let's go. Yeah, talk to more people. Outfitter. Hey, uh, good to see you. Guess what? I'm throwing a celebration in honor of the base camp getting fixed. I just got, I just got in some killer sets of armor you need. This stuff was top notch. My virtual combat testing. You'll definitely want to pick up a set. Start saving now. What are you doing hanging around? Huh? You're a customer? Yes, I'm a customer. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Actually, no, I didn't even need to ask. Alright, back to my virtual testing. Uh... Junior. Nice work with the molin hunting. You take to swimming like you have gills. But don't forget what you learned. Oh, I nearly forgot. I heard that sweetheart from the guild has a message for you. Better go see her if you... Better go see her if you haven't yet. Oh, just, uh... Oh, just, uh... Convert all my kills into resources. There we go. And take all this stuff. Villager requests. I got five frogs, but uh, that I don't have anything else. I'd love to have a pop fish, but uh, what do I need? Review information on monsters and items that can be converted into resources. This is something that I still don't understand, but I guess I'll learn more about it. Moga for what is this? Moga forecast? Review a forecast of upcoming Moga Woods conditions for the next three 
days? Field conditions. North Tranquil, Jaggy Breeding, Tranquil, on a hotter outbreak. Oh. So it runs on a, a runs on RTC. Okay. Yeah, yeah, interesting, I guess. Whoa, look who's back. How'd the swimming go? Are you one with the fishes now? <laughs> I know it's tricky, especially if you're used to hunting on level ground. In the water, you have to maneuver up and down. At least you've got a good set of lungs, kid. Or so I hear. Don't let a little water scare you off. Now the moment you've been waiting for. The part where I pay you. I had to scrape I had to scrape the bottom of the poogie bank for this one. So that's it. From now on you gotta you gotta earn your own keep. Fifteen hundred zenny. It's not gonna be enough to get that stupid gun lance. Yeah. Maybe it is? Nope, it's not enough. I need three thousand. Uh oh, get with goods. There you are. Where have you been? I thought we I thought we had an agreement. You visit me daily and I won't try to hunt you down. I thought we had an agreement. You visit me daily and I won't try to hunt you down. Anyway, I got some fancy new items in. They immediately made me think of you. Of course, most things, most things make me think of your brave hunter types. Armor. Aim? Aim. Air? I don't know what letter that's supposed to be. Armor. Air. Ahem. Anyway, they're books of combos. I'm sure you've been combining items, right? Right? With the book of combos in your item pouch, your rate of success in combining raises, r rises, rises. Convenient, no? One book boosts your success rate slightly. Two books by even more. Three books, you get the picture. You do have to sacrifice pouch space, but you'll be less likely to end up with garbage. Think of the environment. I only have the first two volumes in stock so far, but I think, but I think they're must-haves. Buy them, or not. <laughs> Well then, sorry, Nover. How may I help you? I uh, guess so. Buy and send a box for right now. I uh, can only find for this. Binoculars, field horn, trap tool, worm. Trap tool for sure. How am I gonna get one? Let's take two. Iron pickaxe. How many do I have with me? Oh, uh, I need to uh, get some more pickaxes. Iron pickaxes is how much? Eight hundred. Oh my God. How many whistles do I have? Eh, I'm gonna take two. Herbs are fine, don't need that. Must if you want to get gather materials from fish. Weaken the fish, then harpoon away. Oh, so they also oh, the fish don't die. They they actually get stunned long enough for you to use a fishing harpoon, so that way you can actually can get the materials from them. Okay. Easy enough. Bug net. And there we go. Uh, let's see, what else am I missing? I'll take the binoculars, why not? Actually, no, I don't, I don't need the binoculars for anything. I just need to... I'll just, I'll just send that to the... Send it to the box right there. Uh, worm, got plenty of those. And we're good. You're always welcome here, even if it's just not... Even if it's just a chat or hangout or whatever. All right. Uh, just gonna go store my, uh, worms that I no longer need. Store items. And frogs, don't need that either. Uh, iron mega pickaxe, why not? I play on or barbecue spit. Bone. Anything else? Got it. Oh, uh, combine. Oops. I acquired garbage. My mistake. Seven of those. Uh, how many? How much? How many? How much mega puzzles do I have? Eh, I got plenty. And harpoon. I'll take those whenever I need it. I will, however, take the uh, book of combos with me if I can. That is. W where's the book of combos? What even is this? Prism Shroom Lamp. I don't even know what the hell that's for. Uh, where's the Book of Combos? Do I have it? Do I have it on me? Wait, what? 
Where's my book of combos? Like, I thought I could have sworn I had it on me. Ah, great. Oh well. I'm gonna save my progress for right now. So, let's save my progress right here because I can't save by I can't save by default. Just be in the options menu unless I have to unlock it. That'd be that'd be weird. All right, now we can finally do those quests after just uh, going through all that text. I'm sorry, but this is something you, you, you're gonna have to deal with. If you don't like it, just skip ahead until I un, 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 until I eventually start to get something uh, interesting going. That's how it's always going to be. Anyway, hey, that's my favorite hunter. Guess who, guess who just got into contact with me? Yep, I finally heard from the hunt from the hunters guild. Hooray! Now where'd I put the piece of paper? Aha! Here it is, your very first quest. Completing it will cause both your skill and your reputation to skyrocket. In theory. The only quest I've got for you so far is to collect a bunch of mushrooms. Hmm. You don't think? Is it possible? Do they not trust us at all? Oh well, gripeity gripe. Let's just show them. Oh well, gripeity gripe. Hmm. Let's just show them we can get the job done. And by we, I mean you. FYI, when you're FYI, when you're on a guild quest, you can't get back to the village the usual way. You have to return to base camp. Also, you're not allowed into your house once you've got a quest. If you want in, talk to me to cancel the quest. Follow that, then get yourself signed up for the quest and head down to the bridge and left to the park. Okay, here's what we've got. There we go. Low rank, begin. Harvest shroom. Deliver three unique mushrooms. The fungi around here is so fun, but the the fungi around here is so fun, but the unique mushrooms from the deserted island really satisfy. Be a deer and fetch me some ripened or choice mushrooms would be nice. Be me, be a deer and fetch me some ripened or choice mushrooms would be nice too. I I, I hear some shrooms will ripen. I heard I hear some shrooms will ripen when Alteroth eat them. Alrighty then. Let's begin. So long. Carefully you don't fall into any monster footprints. <laughs> Alright, let's begin. Uh, do I depart right here? Or... I don't depart with the cat. I depart... I depart right over here, right? Most likely, yeah. Hey, what? Um, where do I go? Okay, on the left side to the dock... Uh, I'm just gonna go, uh, wait, every lad, no, not him. I think it's this way, down here. Nope. Did I talk to Neko? I talked to Neko, don't I? I think so. Domo! Salutations, Hunter! Boat not, boat not very large, Honto, but Neko used to deliver sundries and materials. Never fear, Tiger of Far East is here. Now, you're still on quest. You, you you want to go to port? Must you want to go to port? Must kyanse must kyanseru quest first. Kyanseru means cancel. Uh, what? Where do I go? Is it this way? Oh, here we go. This is, is right over here. All right. First gathering quest that is not resources. Harvest Shroom. And the base camp is fully operational once again. No earthquake will no earthquake will stop it now. Cause I'm ready. Hi. Okay, now is my time to shine. I'm Moga Village's resident expert on quests. Now that the camp is back on its feet, there's no better time to be a hunter. It's a it's a catastrophe it's a catastrophe proof industry. This camp served as both the departure point and the end goal for your quests. Now, this camp is equipped with three things to help you in your quest. What could these be, you ask? Actually, actually, please ask. Please? I'll just tell you. The red box, the blue box, and the bed. Now, practice your hunting, Hunter. Have a, have a look around and see if you can find all three of these elusive wonders. Elusive my ass. They're right here. 
You found it! That blue box you see before you is known as a supply box. It contains supply items courtesy of the guild to help you complete your quest. You have to forfeit many of the you have to forfeit many of the supply items when the quest is over, so don't get overly attached to them. Why not press the A button and see what's inside? Alright, got the map. Uh first aid med. Rations. Paintball, of course. I guess, sure, I'll take the torch. Everything else? Nah. Oh, you're good! That red box is the delivery box. When quests require you to deliver items, like this quest does, this box will be this box will come in handy. When you have items you were asked to deliver, bring them to the delivery box. See how much sense it all makes? For this quest, you need to deliver unique mushrooms. Alright, cool. And here's the bed. Let's see here. Yep, it's a bed! Your furniture stocking skills are without equal, Hunter. Sleeping in this bed will restore your health. <laughs> Cure you if you're poisoned. You'll wake up good as new. You can rest in the bed as many times as you want during quests. Hunting is hard work. You'll need plenty of sleep. And by plenty, that would and by plenty that would equate to only five seconds, or three. I forget the duration. Hi. Oh, you know, I nearly forgot to tell you about another key feature. Do you see the clock in the upper left corner of the screen? It keeps track of the time limit for the quest. Watch it. The white hand advances by one dot every five minutes. That makes the time unit that makes the time limit for this quest fifty minutes. Got it? Run out of time and you'll fail the quest. It embarrassing so you better hustle the clock starts flashing red yeah very embarrassing it, why is it always zoom in like this up oh, got spider webs you need that on the other hand i no longer have the gathering skills so what what, what skills do i have on i'm curious none no skills whatsoever but I'm close to getting hunger, uh, whim, and no, close to getting hunger, so that's cool. Well, it's it's not like I need anything, so okay. All right, there's the Alteroth. I'm just gonna go wait for them to like uh, gather for those mushrooms specifically. Yes, that's one. That's what they call a unique mushroom. Not a fan myself, frankly. Not a friend. Not a fan myself, frankly, friend. Fungi freak me out. If you'd like to have another look at the quest information, check out quest info from the game menu. There you can check out the completion requirements and other basic and other basic info about the quest. I'm starting to get I'm starting to get used to uh, the god awful uh, text font of Three Ultimate. Probably because that I uh, probably because that I know what know, know what each letter is by this point. We got a unique mushroom, unique mushroom, unique mushroom, unique mushroom, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And gathering. Let me just let me just kill this off real quick. What you got? Uh oh. Oh, I thought I thought he was gonna go after me. Oh wait, he was. Ultra stomach. That's all that we're gonna need. Something that I really don't understand about the behavior of Ultra. On one half of their behavior, they're completely docile and completely ignore you and just go straight to the and go straight to mushrooms. But on the other half of their behavior, they're completely aggressive and sh and relentlessly chase after your ass. I don't understand how that works. I guess it's just something that that's entirely quest dependent or something. Ivy, uh, I'm just gonna go stop that with a map. I don't need it. Get some more ivy to make to make a pitfall trap. Uh, there's a there's a sound of a train uh, in the distance uh, in the background. I apologize if you can hear that. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on just a second. Oh wait, duh, so it's because I got rid of the map. I wonder I can't see anything in front of me. All right, quest complete. Let's go. All right, that was simple. Excellent, fantastic, wonderful! You've completed the quest. Next, you'll receive your reward, and then it's back to the village. I'll report your results to the guild, and they should pass on new quests for you. 
good hunters are never unemployed. As you advance, you'll access more quests that involve hunting monsters, so you should upgrade your gear as you go. That is definitely something I'm going to do. Ah, yes. Let me hear it. Easily, probably among the top three best quest clear themes ever. Got some more materials. Nice. Uh, when do I meet up with Shakalaka dude? Shakalaka boy. Shakalaka ding dong. I don't know. I don't know what they're called. Kayamba, cha cha. Kayamba and Chacha. I'm pretty sure that's. What, I'm pretty sure those are their names. I think uh, Chacha is the one with the blue headpiece, and Kayamba is the one with the mouthpiece. I guess. Future alpha male. My little brother and I are having a fishing contest. The first one to catch a legendary golden fish is the winner. All I have to do is mix my special firefly bait with um something something and then i'll have the best bait ever hey i caught hey i caught too many mega fishing flies do you need it do you need any here you go hey a mega fishing fly thank you kid big kid i don't know you're the future alpha male carefree lad hey you know what i'm doing i'm having a fishing contest with my big brother whoever catches the legendary golden fish first is the winner <clears throat> excuse me you better stop teasing me if i beat him this morning, he called me Kelby Dung and pushed me in the water. Oh, but I've got an edge. Secret knowledge. The chief let me study golden fish in a science book at his house. Based on what I read, I'm pretty sure they live somewhere in Area 10 on the Moga Woods map. I found out their favorite fate is made by combining a snake bee larva with something. I'm not sure about that part. Here, I'll give you one of mine. Snake bee larva and a mega fishing fly to get golden fish. In area ten. That's something I gotta that's something I gotta remember. Every single dialogue is a tutorial on how to do things. Isn't that lovely? Good job of the mushroom hunting. What do you think of the guild rules? Annoying much? I know, I know. Hunters all over the world struggle to to fill strict requests while both while while both monsters and rules work against them. That's that's slowly approaching time limit. You collapse three measly times, and you're and you're do, and you're deemed too weak. Cruel, I know. The thing is, the whole reason people look up to hunters is because you're supposed to be able to, to to take whatever they throw at you. Let me guess. The next thing you're going to say is, in theory. Oh, no pressure or anything. Oh, would you look at the time? It's half past a new quest. We, we, we got a bunch of jobs for you this time. You can do them whenever you can do them in whatever order you like. But but if we're up to me, I do the I do the Jagia hunt. But don't get cocky. Bring plenty of potions, wet stones, and ammo if you if you use a bow gun. You can also do the monster. You said you can also do the monster guts one. It's mostly underwater, so you can go so you can go to the beach, work on your so you can go to the beach, work on your tan. All quests are special in their own way. Make sure to prep before you go, and you won't have any problems. Good luck. Okay, here's what we've got. Farm aid, guts, it's what's for dinner. Farm aid, slay five, I get prescription pickup, deliver two Kelby horns, golden fish, deliver eight red coral stones. All right. Uh, was it in? Oh yeah, of course I need to store my items. I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna do one more gathering quest and that'll, that'll have to be the end of this episode. Uh, it's like me. Oh, well, I actually need to get that. I don't know. I don't need it. Alright. Turn that, 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 turn that. We're also gonna go combine some stuff. Uh, what I gonna get? Ooh, what's this? Honey and Bitterbug. Catalyst. Excellent. Uh, what is this? Raw meat and Paris room. Tinged meat. Uh, anything else? Stone and Mystery Moss. Probably. Oh, pickaxe. Okay, cool. A macalite ore and a bone. 
Mega Pickaxe. Mega Fishy Fly and Snake Bee Larva. Golden Fish Bait. Alright. There we go. Anything else? Yep, that's it. Uh, I gotta make some more motions. I don't really need, I don't really need anything else. I don't really need anything. I got everything I need right here. So, let's begin. Oh wait, I also need to, uh... I also need to, uh, get, uh... You know, get, get, get the book of combos as well. Uh, so I'll... Don't... I don't have... Oh yeah, I didn't even buy it. I didn't even buy it to begin with. We go upgrade my armor. My starter armor, of course. Uh, armor craft. Upgrade armor. Oh wait. Do I even have... No, I don't have any. I need to get more armor spheres. On the other hand, I can I can finally make make some of these these decorations. So, can I go take a look at my status or no? All right, so sterile jewel, steadfast, recovery. Um, I guess I can wait, gathering jewel. It requires a freaking Kelby horn. Spree jewel. Oh, oh, speed gathering. Speed gathering, gathering increases number of gap. Oh, speed gathering, gathering. Uh, oh, speed gathering too. That's pretty cool. Ultra. Oh no, I'm, I'm taking gathering. Fuck it. Anything else? Let's see. No, that's it. Set the decorations. Okay, let's see. Uh, oops. Health, hunger, combo rates, speed gatherer, gathering. Oh, unfortunately, I don't, I'm not gonna go have enough slots for that, but it'll have to do. Looks like I can just make a meek set or something. Nah, I don't want to do that. Alright, here's a gathering jewel for starters, I suppose. I not mean to do that. Alright, so. Gathering plus seven. Aw, oh, man. I need two more. Wait. Actually, I'm getting close. I'm actually getting close to get. I'm actually getting close to get the gathering skill. I just need two more. I just need two more. I know. I know just how to do it too. Okay, let me see. Let me go take a look at the decorations here. Uh, where's the gathering? Where's the gathering one? Okay. Uh, I need an aqua glow jewel. Unfortunately, I'll just I'll just, I'll just buy it for some more. All right, let's go. Last gathering quest. All right. We are going to slay five Jagia. Or is it Jagaya? I don't know. Dragaiga. Jagia. Jagaya. Jagia. It's Jagia. Farm aid. Doesn't even tell you the quest info on the bottom of the screen. It just has a now loading icon. Alright, let's begin. Yeah, the torch is practically useless. Should have known that from the very beginning, but eh. Got some Jaggies. I, I mean, I got some Jaggies to take care of too, so. I'll take that. Or I'll take you. Bird Wyvern Fang. We get a lot of Bird Wyvern Fangs. So. I forgot, I, I forgot what I. I forgot what I make with Bird Wyvern Fangs. I don't think it's anything yet. Daggy scale, also got to use that. Air weed. What the heck is an air weed? Something useful, obviously. Now let me just go take a look at this. Okay. Chewing it releases oxygen, but that's easier said than done. It's really sticky. Surely I got to go combine it with something else to make it useful. It's really sticky. So what happens? So so, so 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 what is that supposed to mean? It's all sticky and doesn't work. Oh, lovely. Blue mushroom. All right. Got some more points. I'm getting more points than uh, Zenny in these uh, in these gathering quests. How much honey do I have with me? I do not have any. 
let me just go gather some real quick. And I'm pretty sure that pretty sure the jig I'm pretty sure the Jagias are in area six, so let's go over there. Lickety split. That's where I collect all this honey. There we go. Got it. Let's go. On the other hand, I no longer have to worry about collecting resources because everything is already there. Thank God for that. Fuck you, Malinx. Rot in Gehenna. Did I not make myself clear? There we go. You don't have anything useful. But I will take this, but I will take this bug net. Take this bug. Thunder bug. God bug. Um. I guess I'll take her the. Did you seriously steal something from me? Now you did. Bastard. God bug, thunder bug. Don't give me a. I don't need a flash bug. Oh crap, he's back. Fuck off. As I said before, Malinxes are more annoying than Brofangos, and there's nothing oh, and there's nothing that will and, and there's nothing available that will that, 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 that will make me change my mind. Because at least both fangos don't steal items from you. When every single time, every single time when you're trying, oh, and they're a pain in the ass. Uh, when when you're doing delivery quests, especially especially when the certain when certain passages are blocked off and you and you're forced to take the long route every single godforsaken time. Both fangos don't do that. They don't steal items. They just ram you. They're just always pissed to see you. Then again, everything is pissed to see you because that's just that's that's just the monster on her life. All right, first Jagia. I always feel I always feel bad killing Jagias because of the because of the noise they make when you kill them. More than Jaggies. They're just chittering. They're just chittering their last. They're just chittering their last breath. Jagias? It's a screech of despair. Why wouldn't I feel bad? Like, jeez. It's a little bit. It's a little bit much for me to take in. Not gonna lie. But. I have no choice, I'm gonna go have to kill kill three more. They sound so sad too. Ow, really? Oh my god. That was all that was all just one bite. What it sound like? Really? Uh, get out of here, please. Thank you. All right. Uh, where are the rest of the Jagias? I already fought four of them. Now I just need to go find one more. Unfortunate, as unfortunate as that sounds. And another one there. I don't need that. Can I blue mushroom? I don't need another unique mushroom. No longer unique to my eyes. Now it's just a regular. It's just a regular mushroom with no value. Ah, great. Maybe there's some in area seven. Eh, probably not. Oh wait, nope. There's uh oh, there's one. There's one right over here. Sorry, dude. I have no choice. It's part of the job. Meantime, what is this? Is that four? Give me that! Iron ore. Earth crystal. 
I guess I'll stop that with iron ore. Fuck it. I need earth crystal. Iron ore is everywhere anyway. Stone? No, fuck that. Jaggy, go away. I need that. Oh, there's another one. Aqua Gold Jewel. Fuck you. Till next time. Another good one. Another one. Another one. Give me one more. One more. One more. One more. Yeah, okay, fuck it. Uh, uh, first aid. Oh, we got first aid man. I should have threw that away. Aw, oh, man. Oh, well. Now it looks like I have enough, uh, I have enough decorations to, uh, <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> to make the gathering scale. Take a hide. Is that an ivy? Yeah, it's ivy. Felvine, or is it felvine? Or, 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 or maybe it's feelvine because of feline. Free hunt bonus. What's free hunt bonus? I don't even know what that is. Uh, okay. Got plenty of money, and I'm pretty sure I can finally make the bone gun lance. Actually, no. I could make the I I I, I could make the jaggy gun lance. I've got enough got enough bird vibrant fangs and jaggy scales to make it. So let's go. But actually, okay, long sword and gun lance, great sword just in case, and medium bow gun just by the time when I unlock it, I guess. All right. Uh, gonna go make the decorations. Where is it? Yep, there it is. Does it say how much I have? Uh, yeah, it's okay. Perfect. Now I can set them. Perfect. Gathering plus one. Now I can gather more stuff. And the other. Oh right, I need I need more shit. I can't I I can't make the gun lance even if I wanted to. Uh, or can I upgrade the Yes, I can. Upgrade it into the Arzuros. Nah, I don't need that. I mean, I could. I don't know. There's a 30 attack, and oh wow. It's either 330. Or... It's the same thing, just 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 with a different name and design. I could, I could, I I I could go for a green bar. So you know. Iron Gun Lance. Oh, crap, I don't know that. He's like, okay, how much, how much does it, how much is it to make the, make the Bone Gun Lance again? It's 1,500 Zenny. I could sell some stuff. But, I don't, I don't want to waste any more time. One thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go talk to the farm manager or farm farm elder. What's your name? Head farmer. Okay. There you are. I'm much obliged to you. The guild sent me a notice saying you took care of that herd of jaggy. Mighty kind of them to do it all formal like, but I would have preferred a visit from that cute receptionist gal. Anyway, I wanted to give you this bomb case that I made to show to show my appreciation. A bomb case on its own is as, is as dangerous as a declawed feline. A bomb case in on its own is as dangerous as a declawed feline, but you, can, but you can combine it to make all sorts of bombs. For starters, try combining it with a flash bug. Sounds like fun, yeah? You know. You know, Hunter? You're alright. Whatever you need farm, I'll make sure it gets grown real good. Uh, what's the farm status? It's still farming, okay. Check the crop box. And there we go, got some, got some little mushrooms. And worms. I like that too. Uh, what else can I cultivate besides? Oh, that's everything. Uh, Parastrum, Excitrum, Airweed. Um, I like to make I like to make some more ivy actually. Oh, you can actually use dung. You can actually use uh, you, you can actually use dung for fertilizer instead of dung bombs. That's pretty nifty. Take all the shit you need. Alright, we good. 
All right, that'll have to be in it. All right, that will have to be in. That will have to officially be the end of this episode. And uh, what do I like? What do I think about this game so far? The tutorial was a bit much, but I but but, but I really liked but I really liked about uh, of how streamlined it is and how and how you know you know uh, about cuts to the chase on how to do things and it doesn't doesn't really go into too much detail on what you need to do and it's also uh, like uh, and it's also not like in Four Ultimate over like where they expect you to like uh, do things uh, on your own because it's because written on the quest they just they, they just do show and they, they, it's it's all about show and don't tell. And then the four ultimate is the exact opposite, as 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 far as I can remember. Uh, anyway, because uh, I had to restart my freaking save file in order to in order in, in order to in order to under if in order to, like uh, figure that out myself. But no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just make a new file. I'm just like, uh, okay, is the tutorial better or worse than for th than, than four ultimate? Okay. Anyway, uh, the tutorial is uh y you know obviously a bit much, but uh, very easy to manage very very efficient underwater combat is very interesting and i'm and i'm really looking forward to like uh putting it up to the test against i'm guessing the first monster i'm going to fight is a global or a dion cuckoo what's the first monster going to be i don't know oh wait it's obviously going to be great jaggy of course the best starting monster that everyone loves it's not that, 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 that that's not great macau fuck that monster I mean, as, I mean, as fun as it is to hunt, as fun as he is to hunt, he's absolutely terrible as a tutorial monster. I just can't get that out of my head. But yeah, anyway, uh, let's go to the uh, gestures and wave goodbye. All right, that to include the episode, the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you later. This is GBA 49 signing out, going offline. Let me snap a little bit, for, a little bit, a little clearer with that. And see you next mission. It's 204 for where I'm at right now, so I gotta go to bed. Good night.